Hey, hello guys, this is Shubhabrato and welcome back to my channel, Sir Edition. First of all, a very, very happy new year to all of you. And thank you for supporting me throughout this year. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, then subscribe it right now because I bring new videos in every week about robotics, electronics, IoT and many more. Today, I will show you how to make a temperature meter. But when I was making this project, there is no display around me. But I have a servo motor. Then I thought, why not use this servo motor to make the display? If you are wondering how a servo motor can display temperature values, then don't skip the video, watch till the end. Let's get started. Now let's understand the system first. First, I need a microcontroller unit. Here I am using ESP32 as a microcontroller. You can also use Arduino. For the temperature sensor, I am using a NTC thermistor. And lastly, I am using the servo motor to indicate the temperature values. This is an analog display. And I will attach a pointer with the servo motor shaft and it will indicate the temperature value by changing its angle. Now coming back to the main system. The thermistor sends the temperature value to the ESP32 microcontroller and ESP32 will process the temperature value and drive the servo motor. Now let's take a look at the circuit diagram. I made a series connection between the thermistor and a 10 kilo ohm resistor. The ground of ESP32 is connected to the free end of a 10 kilo ohm resistor and the 3.3 volt line of ESP32 is connected with the free end of the thermistor. The junction point of the resistor and the thermistor is connected to pin D35 of ESP32. The V-in pin of ESP32 is connected to the VCC pin of the servo motor. Servo motor's ground is made common with the ground of ESP32. The signal pin of servo motor is connected to D5 pin of the ESP32. As always, you can get the circuit diagram and code in the description. For making this analog display, I printed this layout on a sticker paper and sticking this to a piece of piece board. Now I will fold this board into half to make a stand. Here I am using MG995 180 degree servo motor. Now I will use some hot glue to fix the servo motor to the back side of this analog display. I attached a pointer made out of acrylic with the servo horn. I used a piece of vinyl to make the pointer look good. Now it is the time for coding. Driving a servo motor using Arduino is very easy. But to drive a servo motor using ESP32, you have to download and include this ESP32 servo library. Then I take some variable for calculation purpose and declare the pin D5 as servo pin. In the setup part, I start timers of ESP32, which responsible for generating PWM signals. Then set the PWM frequency to 50 Hz as servo motor need 50 Hz square wave signal to drive it. After that, there is two more parameters. 
minimum and maximum pulse width of the 50 hertz signal in general this minimum and maximum pulse width is 1000 to 2000 millisecond if you want to know more about servo motors then you can check out my video you will get the link in the i button but here i am setting the minimum and maximum pulse width uh, is 500 to 2400 milliseconds now in the loop part i am calculating the temperature value by taking 100 samples of the raw value. I map the 0 to 100 degree centigrade temperature value in between the 0 to 180 degree servo angle. So that is it for the coding and I have already uploaded the code in the ESP32. Now let's see the demo. As the circuit is very small, I made all the connections in the breadboard. This is the thermistor the temperature sensor. You can see the ambient temperature is 22 degree centigrade and you can also observe the temperature in my temperature gauge. Now if I heat the thermistor the temperature is rising and the gauge is showing the temperature value. Now it is coming back to the ambient temperature position as the heat was removed. If you guys love this video then make sure you hit the like button and if you love to watch this type of videos then support me by subscribing my channel and you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I post there uh, what will be my next video in next week and also about some tech updates so you can follow me in the social media. Link is given in the description and the most important thing be creative.